Welcome on back to Scammers Today. I have three more must-add players for your fantasy baseball teams in Week 16. As always, this video is brought to you by FanDuel Canada. If you're betting on baseball, make it FanDuel Canada. Let's get into these three players. First one is going to be Michael Bush of the Cubs. I say corner infield, uh, but he's basically just a first baseman. He is 38% rostered this season. Super underrated, 275 average, 12 homers, 34 driven in, one bag. Uh, 138 weighted runs created plus Michael Bush just needed consistent playing time. He was an older prospect and that happened when he was moved from the Dodgers this season, having a great year. He's now 26 years old, hitting well over 300 since the beginning of June and is now tied for the lead in rookie home runs with Jackson Merrill and Colton Cowser. <laughs> A little bit of an age gap between a couple of those prospects, but still impressive for his first full season of Major League Baseball. Big thing with Bush, when he's making contact, he's able to barrel it at a good rate. Anything over 10%, I'm happy with. He's at 12.1%. The peripherals aren't awesome. The exit elite. The peripherals aren't awesome. The exit velocities aren't fantastic, uh, but he's a guy who's going to get on base a ton. He's a walk rate of 12.2%, which puts him in the 91st percentile. He's on a bit of a heater right now, uh, but I'm thinking this is a guy you definitely need to be picking up in your on-base percentage leagues. I would love to see the numbers tick back up. Uh, 12 home runs. He is a first baseman. You want to see a guy 25 if you're trotting him out at first base all the time, but who knows? Baseball just might be changing that way. For now, we'll take what we can get from Michael Bush. That is a good average, a good on-base percentage, um, and I will take him as a four-category contributor. Next one is another rookie, and that is Colt Keith of the Tigers, a second baseman. He is 36% rostered. This year, a 250 average, eight homers, 32 driven in. Uh, he has five stolen bases. The way to run created plus, below league average, 92. Uh, but Cole Keith is really starting to put things together. He is a 22-year-old, currently on an eight-game hitting streak, and he has hit four home runs this week. I know there's a game going on right now. I haven't seen what he has done, but at least four homers in the last week. From a Chris Towers article, there has been an increase in strikeouts with this power surge as well, but I think that's a trade-off that Keith is willing to make, at least so far. There's 20 homer, 10 steal potential here, uh, maybe a bit more if he keeps pulling the ball like he has been. So uh, looking at the numbers, Cole Keith has been mashing fastballs and change-ups, hitting 320 against them combined, 490 X slug. Some of the sliders and other stuff aren't so good, but... Uh, good strikeout numbers overall. Isn't whiffing a ton. He is underperforming his expected batting average by 15 points. Cole Keith is pulling the ball higher than the major league average at just below 40%. And he's also hitting fly balls at a greater rate than the league average. 28.1% uh, for Colt Keith and 23.6% is the league average. The full season stats are not what gets you excited for Keith. It is the last month power surge of six home runs. And again, that month, six homers, 13 driven in and two stolen bases. That is a pretty great month from the rookie. So the upside is what you're chasing with Colt Keith here, and that is why he is on must-add players. Finally, we have Gavin Williams of the Guardians, 48% rostered. Uh, just made a start back from the IL. So, so far this season, 0-1, a 4-8-2 ERA, seven strikeouts, a 1-5 whip in nine and a third innings pitch. Again, from the same, same article talking Chris Howard's talking about Gavin Williams in his first start back from the IL Gavin Williams totally ditched his slider in favor of a new harder cutter uh, in his second one he seemed to split the difference averaged 91.6 with a cutter um, and 84.9 last season and on Monday his cutter averaged 88.3 miles an hour He's clearly tinkering some stuff coming back from his spring elbow injury, but at least the results were better this time as he shut the Tigers out over five and a third innings with five strikeouts and one walk. I think Gavin Williams is a super talented arm. And again, when you look at his numbers, you just go to the stat cast. It's not everything. You can do some deeper research than that, but you just see immediately 92nd percentile fastball velocity with 96th percentile extension. You get that out there. It's going to look a little harder than just the 97 one he's averaging on his fastball. I think he has good secondaries uh, to load up on more strikeouts than he is right now. And again, the Cleveland Guardians are a really good team and they could use some great starting pitching like Gavin Williams. He should be able to help you in the win column should he stay steady like I think he is going to. And he's going to give you solid overall numbers. I love Gavin Williams as a pickup. There it is. Three must-add players for your fantasy baseball teams. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you to FanDuel Canada for sponsoring the video. And I will see you guys next week.